Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been so many months since I've done a favorites video. I used to do favorites videos every like three, two to three-ish months. But for 2022, I looked back and I had only posted one favorites video and it was like January, February, March, I think. I'll throw that video up in the cards. But ever since I changed my upload schedule to really only be once a week on this channel, I do have a vlog channel. If you missed that, I can throw that channel up in the cards. That one doesn't have a schedule. I just kind of post vlogs whenever I feel like it. Um, but ever since I changed this channel's schedule, I kind of stopped doing like what I used to do fairly scheduled and or regularly, like my shop, my stashes, I stopped those. I stopped my favorites videos. So I thought it would be fun to kind of go back and look through the entire year and really pick out what were like the true best of the best, my favorites from this year. Now I'm gonna say straight out the bat, these aren't really new products. I don't think the majority of these came out in 2022. These are just the favorite beauty and makeup products that I've used. Maybe I discovered them, but they didn't come out this year but they've been just like my go-to products for this entire year. So I'll throw some timestamps down below. I'm gonna start out with the non-makeup and just like more beauty, body care, fragrance kind of stuff first. And then the last half of the video will be for makeup specifically. So let's start right out the gate. Let's start with these hair ties. So these hair ties, I'll throw a picture of the actual brand in the box right here. I buy them on Amazon. These kind of curly Q things have been the best thing for my hair. These work amazingly. They are, they start out kind of like this small. They stretch out very far, as you can see, and they come in many, many colors. I love these for just throwing my hair in a quick bun at the top of my head. It doesn't pull my hair out. It doesn't break as often. I think I've only broken like a couple of these throughout. I've been using these for like two or three years, but specifically this year I went and I bought like two packs. So I always have some in my bathroom because actually these are so strong, I end up kind of losing them before I actually break them, which used to not be the case when it came to hair ties. So I like the black ones just because my hair is black, but these just work so nicely. And once they get stretched out, sometimes they overstretch. You can literally just throw this in the laundry with your clothes and they shrink right back up. I think technically they say throw it in boiling water, but that's a little bit too much effort. I just throw it in the washing machine. I throw it in the dryer, they're fine. And then they come back out looking just like this. These are like literally the best things I've done for my hair. <laughs> just it's healthier for my hair. It holds my hair up nicely. It looks very, very cute. Huge favorite. All right, next. This one blew my socks off. So I have, I have to say, thank you. I forgot who commented it, but I was looking, I was spent like most of this year looking for a good body scrub. And the number one scrub that I found was the Boom Boom Scrub from Sol de Janeiro. And it's expensive. It is so expensive. And I didn't want to have to spend that much money for a body scrub because I tend to go through body scrubs pretty ish quickly because I like using them all over my body. I don't use them just for like one spot. But someone said, well, why don't you check out the Tree Hut? They've got a scrub that's a dupe. And I knew Tree Hut had a dupe for the actual Boom Boom Cream. And I tried that and I thought it was pretty good. I had no idea they had a scrub until that comment. So I looked it up. I bought it from Ulta. This is the best damn body scrub I have ever tried. It's got the perfect amount of grittiness to it. It smells and like scrubs the exact same as the Boom Boom Scream. Scream. Ooh, Boom Boom Scream. That is going to be the next horror movie from A24. <laughs> but it's literally like the perfect, not only like the perfect dupe for the Boom Boom body scrub, but it's just on its own, an amazing body scrub, which kind of surprised me because I've tried other Tree Hut scrubs and they were not as good. It's like specifically this Tropic Glow one that is this amazing. So straight up, this is the first one that I've gone through completely. I've repurchased this one. So I've gone through one. I am placing an Ulta order after my birthday because I want to get my points and get my birthday rewards and everything. Um, I'm buying three of these <laughs> and I'm keeping them in my bathroom. It's that good. I am shocked. I love this. So thank you to whoever left that comment. This is like the winning body scrub of the year. Next, let's talk about my favorite hair dye. So I do dye my hair at home. I've been doing black box dye for like five-ish years, five-ish years. When I was a teenager, I tried dyeing my hair lighter. I bleached it. I tried to go red. It did not look great. My hair just, it's too dark. My hair is naturally this color. It's basically brown black. And I realized fairly early that I don't like going lighter. So that's why I'm okay using a box dye. If you are someone who wants to go from lighter hair to darker hair and have that flexibility, black box dye is not going to be for you. It is very hard to remove. But since I know that I'm going to be 
like getting gray hair soon and I know I'm only going to be dyeing my hair black for basically the rest of my life, um, I'm fine with it. So this is my favorite black dye that I've been using. This is from IGK and this is the Permanent Color Kit in shade 1B Moondance. It is the perfect um, blue black color. And I've tried a couple of other black box dyes. This one has the nicest color while being like the softest, most gentlest on my hair. My hair comes out feeling amazing, looking amazing, and it doesn't smell like way too harsh like chemicals when you're done. Um, and everything you need comes in the kit. It comes with the gloves, it comes with the developer, it comes with your conditioner, it comes with the Vaseline to kind of put around your face. It literally has everything I need, like right in here. Whereas sometimes with the other box dyes, I would have to get like some other like pair of gloves or something to go with it. I don't have to do that with this one. And also, with other box dyes, sometimes I felt like there wasn't enough product, so I had to get two boxes of box dye to do all of my hair. This one, I only need the one box, which is like the best, like straight out, out of the park. This is amazing. This is $28. I found it on Amazon, but I originally bought it from Ulta for the first time. So I haven't dyed my hair with this in about six months. I'm actually waiting. I'm getting a haircut at a salon next week, actually this upcoming week. And then after that, I'm gonna dye the hair myself. Um, and I'm doing that because we're going to a wedding in January and I want to make sure it looks nice and cute. But I'll throw pictures up of what it looks, what my hair looks like right after I dye it. It's just beautiful. It's like, it's shiny, it's bouncy, it does not kill my curls. My curls, if anything, were enhanced by this. And that's why this is like my favorite hair dye. So I don't like to stock up on hair dye because I don't know how long it'll last before it expires. So I tend to just buy a box right before I know I'm going to be dyeing it. All right, next, I finally bit the bullet this year, no pun intended, and bought Juliet Has a Gun for the first time, the actual full-size bottle. I did a TikTok on this actually, but Sephora had the best deal to get a full size of this product. The way to do it was to get a certain deal on a certain um, sample kit during the sale. So there was like a Sephora fragrance sampler kit where if you spend $80 for the kit, you get a coupon and you can redeem it for a full size product of any of the samples that were in there. That kit included the Juliet Has a Gun Not a Perfume. So right off the bat, you know, 80 bucks as opposed to $140, great deal, right? If you picked up that kit during the 20% off sale, it was $64. So $64 for a full size Juliet has a gun as opposed to $140. Yeah, this thing is $140. I got it for 64. Best deal of the year, but like straight up, this is my, I don't wanna say favorite, favorite perfume. I think it's like Burberry, my Burberry blush, and then Juliet has a gun. It's just so just unique. It's light, it's airy, it's musky, it's like literally everything that I need from a perfume. And I've only bought it because I got that amazing deal and I'm glad I did because this is a favorite. All right, last for the non-makeup things, I was finally able to this year discover my new favorite everyday SPF. Before this year, I was not wearing SPF daily like I should, like you should as well. So I found this one. I was looking at a bunch of reviews for um, Japanese SPFs and I tried out a couple of them. I needed to find something that was lightweight, high SPF, but worked well under makeup because I wear makeup six to seven days a week. And this was the winner. This is my third tube of the Biore UV Aqua, Aqua, Aqua Rich Watery Essence. And it's just like the perfect texture. It sinks into my skin really, really fast. It's got high SPF. I love the actual packaging itself because I can get everything out. I can cut the tube open, I can clean it out, and I can recycle it. And it's just an overall really great product. So I really worked hard to kind of narrow this down to really the products that I favored and reached for the most this year. And for the first time, I'm doing a favorites video without an eyeshadow palette because I really, this year, I focused so hard on my pen that palette, I didn't really have a whole lot of time for other palettes where I've tried a few, I've bought some, I've tried them, but I didn't spend enough time with another palette in order for it to hit the criteria personally for me to include it in a favorites video. So that being said, let's jump in. The first favorite is the e.l.f. Acne Fighting Putty Primer. I am still wearing my mask out and about and actually for the New York City metro area, we were like recently told everyone should be masking indoors again because of the triple demic they're calling it now, because of the flu, because of COVID and because of I think, not SARS, what is it called? RSV? 
I think that's what it's called. I will throw it up here. Excuse, pardon me. Um, but we never stopped wearing masks indoors whenever we would go out to eat, which was very rarely. Um, but whenever we went out shopping, we would always wear our masks. So we never really stopped wearing them. But because of that, I was actually getting mask knees, especially you can see it like down here on my chin. I still have a little bit I'm clearing up and this helped a ton. I would wear this under my makeup on days where I wasn't wearing a mask because I do work from home. So I would really only go out on the weekends. So I would put this, I would not wear any makeup on those days. I would just wear eye makeup and I would just put this on under my mask and it helped a ton so this not only is a great actual primer but it worked great as like pseudo skincare moving on to foundations this is actually a product i mentioned in that first favorites video i told you about this is the misha signature complete signature real complete bb cream this is actually the BB cream from Misha formulated specifically for sensitive skin. So they have the normal red bottle. So they have the normal red bottle. This is kind of their standard regular BB cream and it smells like, it smells kind of like your grandmother's perfume, right? Um, this one is formulated specifically for sensitive skin. So that's why it doesn't really have that scent. So if you're looking for a nice BB cream that is super skin-like, super comfortable, full coverage, but you don't want that scent from the other one, this is the way to go. I found this like completely by accident. I was in a Marshalls and I happened to find this full unopened product in my exact shade. I'm shade 13 in the Misha line. And I was so intrigued, I knew I had to pick it up. So I picked it up, I tried it at home and it became quickly my favorite BB cream product. I looked it up, you're able to buy this on Amazon. So I would look at, I would look for it there. It is uh, honestly better packaging than the other Misha BB cream, but everything that like I had as a con to the original BB cream, this one solved. So this was an almost instant favorite and has still continued to be a favorite about a year later. Next, we have another oldie, but a continual goodie. <laughs> this is the Dermacol makeup cover. I love this. This is literally the like best makeup product I have ever owned without exaggerating at all. This year I branched out and I actually picked up two new shades. So my current go-to shade is actually 208. I used to use shade 210, but unfortunately that is now a little bit too dark for me. I'm wearing this shade today on my under eyes and I used it to kind of light con light contour because the next product that I mentioned is a slightly too dark for me. So I use this to kind of brighten up the foundation since it was like just a tad this much too dark. But this is just such an amazing juggernaut of a makeup product. It goes so far, it's so affordable and it's it's like liquid gold. <laughs> I just can't get enough of this stuff. I have several tubes of it, amazing. And I think you can go back to the very beginning of my channel, back in 2017. Was it 2017? Yes, I think. I think, the, I think the, like one of the very first videos on this channel was using this in like a summer foundation routine, which the foundation that I used with it, I really miss. I wish that would come back, but I think that foundation has been discontinued for a long time, but this has been a favorite for years and continues to be. Next, I had this foundation as a favorite, like I wanna say two or three years ago. And then I had kind of put it to the side. I tried a bunch of other stuff and then I came back to it recently, like a few months ago. And I forgot how good this foundation is. It is a drugstore foundation that blows my socks off every single time. And that's the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. I'm wearing it today. It is slightly too dark. So that is shade 010. It was unfortunately a little bit too dark for me. I did recently pick up some new shades. I have shade 008. And unfortunately, I think that is slightly darker than 010. I don't like how they do their shade numbers or actual shades. Um, I did pick up a lighter 005, but it hasn't come in the mail yet. I think it was shipping from a third party seller on Amazon, but even so I'm, you know, I consider it worth it to go through the process of either lightening this up with a concealer or with a white mixer because this foundation is so amazing. It is full coverage. It like doesn't sit on my skin. It like becomes my second skin. It looks amazing. I've worn this full days back when I used to commute. I wear this now as a full day and no matter where I wear it, shush, and no matter where I wear it or what I do, it just sits, looks amazing all day. So the only thing is I need to find what my new shade is going to be. I'm really hoping shade 005 works well for me, but I love this. I love this so much. Another favorite I actually discovered this year, this is just the Swirchkoff Got To Be Brow Glue. And it's literally just their hair gel in a tube with a spoolie and it's exactly what I needed. I have very thick, very bushy, unruly brows 
and I needed something that would really like glue them down. And my favorite up until, you know, a year or two ago was the ABH Clear Brow Gel, but that was a little too expensive for me and I'm not really buying from ABH anymore. So I was looking and this one came on. I had to buy it from Amazon because I think it was really only sold in like the UK or something, but I love it. Like I'm about to go buy like a bunch more of these and keep them on standby because it's literally the perfect brow gel. Next, this is also a very old kind of a classic product, but this year I really started using it more and kind of fell in love with the look. And that is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil just in milk. And I've been using this in my waterline for a nice white pop that just makes me look a hell of a lot less tired than I really am. <laughs> This is just perfect. I love the jumble pencils for putting them in your waterline because they're so pigmented. They're so creamy. It doesn't really hurt. Um, the only thing is that sometimes they can get on your lashes and they're a little hard to get off the lashes down there, but it just looks so great. And these are so affordable. Actually, right now, NYX has like a holiday kit where it's like a bunch of their jumbo eye pencils for like 30 bucks. I'm gonna buy it. I'm hope hoping it's still in stock whenever I do place my big Ulta order, but I do wanna get them because I love the jumbo eye pencils. You can use them as eye primers, you can use them as eyeliners, which is my preferred way of using them because they do stick in the waterline. Like at the end of the day, when I go to take off a makeup at night, I still have this on and it's still bright, fantastic white. And I love it so much. And I my eyes water, especially during the winter when it's cold, my eyes water, it still sticks. It is bulletproof. So I'm glad I went back to this because I was trying to find another like nude, or bright eyeliner, but really the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils, they've got it locked down. I need to check, cause I would love it. Like if I could have a NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in like a shade close to my skin tone, that'd be perfect. Cause then I have it in white, I have it in black, and I have it in my skin tone. And that's literally all I've been wearing in my waterline recently. Last, but certainly not least, we have another old favorite of mine from like at least four years ago. And I, again, I put it away to try a bunch of new products out and I brought it out again and I remembered why I fell in love with it. And still all these years later, it's amazing. And it's a Becca highlighter. This is the Becca Royal Glow highlighter and I'm wearing it today. I have to say, I am amazed at how nice this highlighter looks and blends out on me, no matter what shade I am. Like back when I was like an, N an NW25, this looked amazing. And now when I'm an N4, it still looks great which shocks me. I thought it was look, at some point, I thought it would be too dark for me to wear. It still looks amazing. So that says to me, this was gonna work on a variety of complexions and just holds its spot as my number one highlighter. I actually have like three backups of this because it was limited edition and it's Becca, which doesn't really exist anymore. <laughs> but I love this highlighter so much. It just looks so pretty. Like to me, this is everything about makeup that I love. It's it's bright, it's shiny, it's blendable, it's luxe, like the packaging feels luxurious, it looks amazing, just everything. So that is it. Those are all of my favorites from this whole year. Let me know down below what's your favorite product from this year, and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye.